Hi, I'm Christian Howe. Hi, and I'm Chris Reeve. And in this how-to, we're going to look at One Light Wonders and how to make the most of using a single light both in and outside of the studio. What I really like about using a single light is the complete simplicity and freedom it gives you. It really allows you to concentrate on more important aspects of the shoot, such as the model and the posing. It's also great when you're out on location, enabling you to travel light and work quickly. To kick off with One Light Wonders, I'm using a single head with a standard softbox. I've placed the softbox about two feet away and slightly higher. Then I'm going to use a wide angle lens to get above the model to try and distort the perspective. So, by placing the softbox to the side of the model and facing down, it helps the light fall off quickly in the background. Once you've meted up, get the model to move around and change positions in order to get the best out of the shot. Okay, let's shoot. In this shot, we're going to use a combination of flash and ambient light in order to get a shot with a little more drama. In terms of lighting, we're using a single head with a max light reflector and honeycomb grid in order to create a nice tight and hard light. The aim of this shot is to actually create a nice balance between the flash and the ambient light. To illustrate this, I shot four images. The first image, we use no flash at all. The second image, who's using flash but with a slower shutter speed in order to allow more ambient light into the frame. And the third image, we use a flash and a shutter speed of 125th of a second. And finally, on the fourth image, I'm going to shoot at f10 at about 25th of a second, which creates a nice balance between the ambient and the flash light. Don't worry if you don't have a studio backdrop, a wall makes a great alternative, plus the model can use it to lean against. All you need for this shot is a single max light reflector. To make the shadows long, I've positioned the head several feet away and at a fairly moderate height. This way, I can evenly light the near side of the model, giving the effect of sunlight. Use a modeling light to ensure you avoid unwanted shadows falling across the face and reposition the light if necessary. So that's it, meter to about f11, let's shoot. If you want more shadow, then you can simply place a black polyboard or black fabric just out of the camera frame on the far side of the model. Alternatively, if you want less shadow, use a silver reflector or a white polyboard. Thanks Christian, great shots there of Monica. Here's a few tips when using just one light. One of my favourite ways of shooting is to balance sunlight with one flash head. In this example, we shot the picture of the soldier first without flash, then used trial and error to balance both light sources. This approach can be used both in and out of the studio with the use of either the travel pack or the larger explorer pack. The beauty of using just one light means that you can use the existing ambient light more effectively in the shot. Here Christian used the warm glow of the tungsten room lights whilst using the flash to add drama to Monica's face. Remember, the modelling lamp is there for a reason. Switch it on and it will allow you to see where the shadows are falling on the model's face. Don't worry if you don't have all the kit that we use today. Just a simple max light reflector and a grid was all we used for the hotel shot, and that was great. But just try, experiment, and just have some fun. Great tips there, Chris. Hope you found it really useful. Check us out on the Bowens website, and we'll see you next time on How To.